Hey guys, you guys can see I have a bunch of stuff right now on my countertop and I'm going to explain what I'm about to do. I am getting ready for the gym and so I'm going to drink my matcha tea um, as my pre-workout, if you will. So basically, uh, only because the one that I drink, you guys know um, this is not new to my channel. I love drinking the Four Sigmata. The Four Sigmatic um, Mushroom Matcha Tea. I like it because it's amazing. It has high grade ceremonial um, mushrooms, which is really good with lion's mane mushroom and ginger. All right, so this basically is going to give me energy and also help me focus as well as just basically give me energy, boost me up and you know, things of that sort. I really, really do love this. You guys have seen this on my channel before many times. I love drinking matcha. So because it has the lion's mane mushroom, it's basically, you know, you're going to feel balanced. You're going to feel energetic, but you're also going to feel um, a relaxing sensation. And that's what I need for working out and getting my energy up. It is keto friendly, as you can see. All right, there's no added sugars. It's only one gram carb. This is perfect. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to have this, um, how I like to have it. Um, basically, I'm going to add some coconut oil. I have some heavy whipping cream and some Swerve sugar substitute replacement sugar. And this is everything that I'm going to put into my matcha tea. So I'm basically over here, I have some water. Um, I'm going to put it to, I put it in this because I wanted to show you guys. My kettle won't allow me to show you how I'm going to do it. Um, but I'm not going to move my camera. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm too lazy to move my camera to the stove, so I'm going to just show you how I'm going to do it right here, okay? So, right here I have my water. I'm just going to add my sugar to this. So, I'm using Swerve, very popular in the keto world. Um, this is one tablespoon. Um, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two tablespoons, because I normally do two. If I did this in my kettle, you guys will not be able to see what I'm doing, so that's why I'm using this pan right here. Um, I'm adding my heavy cream, like so. And this is about like, it's not even half a cup, it's like a quarter cup, as you can see right there. I put too much water. I can tell that I have too much water right now. So um, I do like half water, half heavy cream, but I put too much water. And now I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put this on the stove and I'm gonna let this get hot, really hot. So in the meantime, I am just going to um, get my stuff in the cup. And this is what it looked like if you guys are not familiar with matcha. I forgot to mention that this is vegan, whole 30, and it's also all organic, okay? So the ginger in here helps with digestive um, support. That's why, and also flavor. And can I just say, if you guys have never tried this, it is amazing for energy. Um, Starbucks have their own matcha tea, or matcha tea, and it's very high in calories, sugar, and carbs. Um, listen, make your own. I highly, highly, highly recommend Four Sigmatas, uh, Four Sigmatics Mushroom Matcha Drink Mix. Highly, you guys know I love, 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 love making this. And the way I make it, it's so creamy and good. In the description box, I do have a discount code for you guys so that you can save money off of your purchase. So all I'm doing right now is adding half of my mixture and I'm gonna froth it up using my frother. You can just throw this in the blender if you want to. But I use the frother, why not? Like I said, the coupon code will be across the screen and down below in the description. The description box along with the link where you can get this. You can also get this from Sephora, but I'm pretty sure my coupon code don't work there. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna froth this up and I'll be back. Add the rest of my liquid. Mm. I'm gonna take some coconut oil right there, like a tablespoon, add it to it. Look just like that. Get some fat content. You don't taste it, guys. It just makes it creamier. Okay, you don't really taste it. If you wanna go in with more sugar, you can, but I'm pretty content with this. Right here. It just, oh my gosh, already. And this is how I make it. This is just, don't mind my thumb, guys. I suck my thumb, that's why it looks like that. Don't come for me, don't clock me, okay? 
Mm, mm, mm. So good. Not too sweet, not too overpowered. It's just a warm, creamy, good drink. Okay? This is it. Right here. I just want I don't know if you guys can hear my shower running. I'm about to hop in the shower. And when I get out, we're going to talk some more. I'm going to get myself together. I look schmeggy. And I'm going to show you what we're about to do right now. How we're about to refuel, but I'm going to get in the shower. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I am back. I am showered, cleaned up, even made myself look decent for you guys. So we're about to cook and get our day started. I'm going to make my meal that I'm breaking my fast with. But first, I'm going to make some keto coffee. If I do not make it, I'm not going to have no energy at all. Because I hit the gym very hard, as you can see. Your girl hit the gym hard, okay? And then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make to break my fast. I'm going to clean up, get my pots and pans away, and stuff like that. And I'm just going to show you guys what I'm eating throughout the day. So right now, I'm going to make my bullet coffee because I need to refuel. Honey, my workout was brutal, okay? Your girl left some fat at the freaking gym. Okay, I didn't bring that shit back home with me. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, let me show you something. So, for Four Sigmatic Starter Kit, um, like I said, I got a coupon code down below in the description box. You're also going to get the Mushroom Hot Cocoa Mix if you choose to go with the Starter Kit. Um, I love this. This is a staple in my kitchen. Really, really do. But because I'm doing keto, I cannot have this right now because it does have palm sugar. If you are low-carb, um, I believe Whole30 and things of that sort, you can have this. I can't, but I damn sure I can have this. So, this is the mushroom coffee mix with lion's mane and chaga mushrooms with 100% Ara Arabica beans. I talked about this on my channel before. It is really, really, really good. I love, 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 love. So, it's instant. It dissolves instantly. Everything is one, two, three, okay? I'm glad I got more. So I'm just gonna pop this in. Just gonna make some bullet coffee. Easy peasy. It smells so good, you guys. So, so, so good. I love the smell of coffee. Uh, like this video if you like the smell of coffee. If you love the smell of coffee, go ahead and throw a thumbs up. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of coffee. All right, so you guys, this has zero carbs, zero sugars, anything like that. I'm going to put the rest in. So it's made with coffee powder, lion's mane extract, chaga extract, and Rodelia Rosa extract, whatever that is, whatever. We don't, we don't care, we don't know, all right? But all I know is it tastes really, really good. Real quick, let's zoom over here. This is the sugar I'm using for this. For my bullet coffee, I rather the taste of monk fruit sugar because it is really, really close to natural sugar, which it is, and this is an um, organic monk fruit sweetener. It's low glycemic, it's zero glycemic. Okay, zero calories, zero sugar, meaning it is not going to raise your insulin. Ho oh, ho! And if you're doing keto, this is good for you. I'm educating you guys. This is everything, everything, um, it's a one to one sugar replacement. So basically, like how you use regular sugar, you use this. Everything I'm teaching in my, um, challenge, you guys are learning in this video, no lie. Okay, so here's the specs. Leave space for the cream. Get some fat content in there. I, I switch between coconut oil and MCT oil. So I'm gonna um, put my coconut. I don't add butter. I know most people add butter. Your girl don't add butter because I already got heavy cream and coconut. Uh, uh. And yeah, put that in there. Stir it up and then I'm going to use my uh, frother really quickly to get everything well combined. If I was in the way the whole time, I am sorry. You can just blend this, but I'm just gonna use this because I don't want to dirty my blender and have to wash more stuff. Like, I'm already tired from this workout, honey. Girl, who got time? Like, nobody got time. And you can top this with no sugar added whipped cream. Like, it's so good. Like, 
if you don't put whipped cream in your bullet coffee, you can't, especially if you're keto, definitely just make sure it's no sugar added, like no, no additional sugars in your whipped cream and you're good to go or sugar free whipped cream. But I know y'all jealous, like I got a whole cafe all in my crib. It smells so good. I cannot wait to take my first sip. It's so good. So good. I got a whole professional cafe all in my crib right here. So I was going to want me. I want a cup of coffee. Come to my crib. Mm, hot, 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 hot. Woo, it's hot. Almost burned my tongue. I'm so damn greedy. You guys, it's hot. It's hot. Oh my gosh. Woo. Uh-uh. I'm trying not to get foam. I hate foam, but it's necessary. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Okay. I'm doing the most right now, sorry. Oh, this is life. Mm. Whew. Tastes so good. All right, guys, so right now all I'm going to do is make my food that I'm gonna break my fast with, which is on the menu for my boot camp challenge. So I'm gonna just show you guys how I make it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start off with my nonstick pan on medium heat. And to that, I'm going to add some MTC oil. As you can see here, I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Oh, let my pan get hot first. A little bit, because today I'm making chicken bacon. And this is the brand of chicken bacon I'm making. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. This is the chicken bacon. This is what it looks like. It tastes really, really good. And I'm gonna drop two pieces in here like so. And I'm gonna let them cook up, cook up. Good, good. As you can see, it is crisping up. So I'm gonna flip it over. There you go. I definitely prefer chicken bacon over um, turkey bacon. The fat content is a little higher and it's, it gets crispier. All right, so now that is good for me, I'm just going to take this off like so. Look how good that looks. So good. To this, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Okay, so half a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna add my veggies in, which is some red onions and green peppers. Very careful that I don't have too much of this because keto, I have to have a certain amount of net carbs for the day. And I'm going to add my spinach. I gotta pre-cook this because the crust is going to be a cheese crust. I'm gonna season this with a little bit of coarse sea salt. If you are not cooking with coarse sea salt, kosher, coarse salt, honey, your life is jacked. I'm gonna add some chili flakes, just a little bit. Also gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder. Y'all not like my garlic, I'm gonna put some on the eggs too, don't worry, don't worry. I'm quite content. And this is what the filling looks like. Okay, so now I'm going in with some cheese. And this is a cheese I'm using. It is sharp cheddar. Don't really like sharp cheddar, but I have this on hand. I have some Gruyere, but it's not gonna work with this recipe. Um, if I'm making an omelet, I stuff my Gruyere with it. So this recipe is not really gonna work. So all I'm gonna do is melt my cheese like so. <laughs> Gotta put the fire up just a little bit. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna let it make a crust underneath. Like so. It's getting nice and melty and bubbly, great. Throw my egg on top like so. Mmm, black pepper, garlic powder, you know me, a little, like the tiniest bit of sea salt, the tiniest, 
amount of coarse sea salt. That's good. I'm gonna toss my filling back in, like so. Mm, 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 mm. It's gonna be good. And so all I'm gonna do is, oh my gosh, I can't, oh, hoo -hoo. looks so good. Uh-oh, I cannot find my spatula. And this is it. You guys know how I do avocado with everything. This is it. How good does it look? Let's get closer. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. You guys need to try this. It looks so good. It smells good. Mmm. 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 Mm. That crust. Bomb. Yeah, I heard that little ASMR. Look at my bacon. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have cabbage soup that my mom made for me. In my challenge, we are detoxing with this detox cabbage soup. And in mine, there's cabbage, um, broth, um, this is chicken broth, I believe, or bone, beef bone broth. I have zucchini and zucchini squash, tomatoes, and onions. It is so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Listen, I know a lot of people are, if you're doing my challenge, doing the detox, cabbage soup, might be complaining, but mine is just so bomb. Oh, she also put some chicory in here, which I don't like chicory. Um, she took it out, but she put it for the flavor. One of my tips is I always add an avocado to my... It's so good. So, so good. Listen, when your mother is a culinary chef, she can make anything good. Like, I don't know how my mom made this or what she did, but baby, I love having a mother that is a culinary chef. Okay? It's so good. Um, mm. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat on that. I have some sausage here that I nibbled on. <laughs> And, mm, so good. It's spicy Italian sausage. Mmm. Mmm. Can you tell I'm hungry? It's so good. So, this is keto friendly, keto proof. And I have to get my vegetables in. And this is perfect. I add more fat by adding the avocados, more fat with the sausage mm, mm, mm. so good all right i'm gonna eat and i'll be back when there's something else to do oh girl i'm tired anywho i'm sorry i don't know if you guys can tell how tired i am right now i am going to meal prep for week number two that's coming up um, I'm gonna make some curry chicken thighs. I just want to make like two three um, meals of it It's gonna be like my lunch So um, I'm gonna make some curry chicken thighs and veggies in the oven. That's all I'm really gonna do everything else I'm good. Like I got it. So I'm gonna have some of that today Maybe if I'm like hungry enough because I'm not really hungry um, Y'all saw my breakfast really good and really big. So you saw my lunch. I'm not really hungry but I am going to prep that and um, I've been chewing on cashews. I had some strawberries and I drink so much water. You guys, I don't show the water, but I drink so much water. Plus, I have my matcha tea from Four Sigmatic. I have my coffee, my keto coffee. Um, so these are all things that I'm, I'm stuffed. Like, I'm not even hungry, but I do have to prep for tomorrow because if you don't... Um, plan to succeed you plan you pre you plan to fail period or however the saying goes who knows like i don't even look i'm tired okay yeah anyway that's what i'm gonna do right now i'll show you how i do the curry chicken um i'm just gonna use the same like base my mother showed you guys with the salmon the curry salmon and shrimp i'm gonna just do it with chicken thighs normally i wouldn't do it with chicken thighs but that's what i have on hand so that's what i'm gonna do um yeah <laughs> so right now i'm gonna make curry chicken i have chicken thighs here for that um, my mom showed you guys how to make curry salmon 
um, on my channel. The video is on my channel. I'll have it linked. I'm going to follow the base of that recipe and use chicken thighs for that. And I'm going to roast some veggies in the oven. So yeah, let's just get started. To this bowl, I'm just going to add the proper seasonings that we use. Um, not all of them have names on it because um, my mom and I, we buy our spices raw. We don't really, because we make our own spice mix and we buy our spices and make our own. So here is my veggies that I made. I realized I forgot to show you guys what I made. And yeah, this is everything. It tastes so good. I've shown a rendition of this before in previous videos. That's why I didn't show it. It's basically just roasted veggies with butter, lemon, garlic, onions, while well, you shallots, and a little salt, pepper. That's it. All right, guys. I think this is it. All right, y'all. I said I'm closing out the vlog as you can see I am zum tired lips are chapped now like it's a wrap I hope you guys enjoy spending the day with me and seeing what I'm doing in my challenge and in my life to battle obesity get into this keto cis state um yeah this is basically it this is this is what I'm doing I am consistent, I'm happy, I feel good, I feel amazing being surrounded by the women in this challenge. Like, just this challenge is just, it's everything. I'm sorry to keep talking, it's just, it's just such a joy. It's, it's like a big joy in my life right now because of the motivation and the women and the sisterhood that we have. Like, it's amazing. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, no, you can't join it, it's closed. Like. By the time you see this video, I'm pretty sure the challenge is going to be like a week to being over. <laughs> like, that ass. But, you know, um, this is what I'm doing. I wanted to just update you guys, keep you guys updated. Y'all gave me so much love on my last video and so much support. Like, I have the best support system. My subscribers, my family, my, me familia, you guys are so amazing. The support that I get from you guys, the encouragement, the energy is everything. And that's why I feel like I will succeed in battling my obesity. I feel good. I'm looking good. You know, I'm happy and it's genuine. All right, guys. I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for rocking out with me one more time here on Miss Brooklyn's Journey. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. All right, follow me on my social media networks. Names and links are down below in the description box and somewhere on the screen. Don't forget all the info for Four Sigmatic down below. All right, guys, let them know Brooklyn sent you. I love you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.